So the topic says, I feel it in my spirit. Oftentimes, I'm sure you have heard, and even you said it yourself, that, hey, I feel in my spirit that, uh, some, you, you know, I can't gel with a brother, you know, man, something in my spirit, in my spirit. Something to sit right with my spirit and this guy or this girl. When people say that, it automatically gives off an impression that they are operating by the Spirit of the Lord. There are times when the Spirit of God is speaking to us about things and we think it is us, our minds, but it turns out in the end that it is the Holy Spirit. But more often times than not, when people are saying, in my spirit, I feel this and I feel that, it is exactly what it is. Thus, their spirit and not the Spirit of God. Because our spirit is not the same thing as the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God indeed can only communicate to our spirit man. But our spirit is not the Spirit of God. There is a difference. And watch this. When the anointing and the purpose of God is upon your life, there are two sets of people who will give you flack. Well, there are three sets of people that you would have to deal with. People who recognize the grace of God upon your life and they gladly gravitate towards it and get the benefit of it. And they also pour into you positively. That's good. But there are two negative sets of people. Humans fear what they do not understand. So a person can meet you. They recognize there's something special about you. They might not be able to immediately recognize that it's indeed the Spirit of the Lord upon your life. But they know that there's something different about you. And because they do not understand it, they want to kill it. And uh, this is human natural instinctive behavior. When humans see a strange insect, for example, that they've never seen before, the insect never do them nothing bad. Just because it is strange and they do not understand the insect, their first instinct is kill it, kill it, kill it. When indeed it could be an insect that God had created to, for their benefit. And once the insect is in the area, that insect might devour other insects that could come across to destroy our crops or destroy something. And so that insect is beneficial to our survival. But because it's the first time we're seeing it and we do not understand it, the first instinct is to kill it. And the second set of people are those who they detect, they discern the grace of God upon your life. They know that God called you indeed, but they will not lose you and let you go because of covetousness. Because their intent in ministry is not clean and pure. Their intent is not to build up the kingdom of God, but to build up their kingdom. Their intent is not to glorify Christ, but to glorify themselves. And so they go about seeking for vain glory using the things of God. And if God wants to use you, they want to suppress you. And so therefore, these are some of the things that uh, not only me, but many in the body of Christ, but more than us, we are nothing. Look at, we, we're going to look at Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Jesus said, if they did this to me, your master, they will do it to you. 